Yo, what's up guys? Flox here, and today we are going to be doing the Earth um, Sybil Sister Dungeon. Um, as since she's an Earth unit, we figured we'd just bring a mono fire unit, a fire team, sorry. Um, starting off with my six star, my maxed out lava. I think she, she was my first maxed out unit I've ever had. Because I just kept pulling lavas and I was like, I, I don't need more than one. <laughs> there will never come a time where I'll need more than one. Or so I tell, so 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 I told myself. So maybe one day I'll regret it, but whatever. So <laughs> she's fully maxed, SPP ten, yeah, whatever. Um, my five star Darfin show, which I spent a long time pulling. Those videos will eventually come out soon, but I don't have time to edit them at the moment. So yeah, you'll I'll, you'll see the summoning videos later. Um, it's a it's a long series, like a six parter. Jesus. Um, my Asia, who is who's still not maxed to this day. I only I try to rush her and max her when the fire vortex was out, but nah. Um, so far, they've all been using medulla gems except for Michelle because Michelle's actually on my main team. So um, just put a gold knight axe to her because I've been trying to just clear quests as, as fast as possible while I'm grinding because you know it's all about efficiency, man. And my five star Luther. Um, six stars out at the time of this recording. The only reason why I don't I haven't involved him is because I haven't had time. I've been really busy this week, so and I haven't prepped all the ingredients, and I also don't have any more fire uh, metal, fire gods. Sorry, fire, fire, yeah, fire, fire, fire gods, fire crystals, fire kings, whatever. I uh, used them all for Dia, so yeah. So to make up for the fact that um, my lava, sorry, uh, my Asia and my Luther are not maxed whatsoever. I put medulla gems on all of them, except for Michelle. Yeah, so just assume this is like a maxed out team, I guess. I don't know if that if I can really uh, compensate with medulla gems, but whatever. So I've already done this before because uh, they've been released early. They've been released way earlier. Um, let's just use yeah, wow. Well, let's just use a uh, Carl because who cares? <laughs> I don't. Th I'm not bringing a single healer, so this should go by much faster. So, uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna auto battle and talk about the stats. Okay, so the unit's name is Rose Sybil Pola. Um, arguably, she's like the prettiest unit, in my opinion, of all the sisters. Um, yeah, the artwork's really nice on her uh, character. Um. Her leader skill is 50% attack to earth and dark. I've said before in the previous video, I think in Eliza's video, that uh, all the sisters have a very unique trait where their leader skill is an attack buff to two or more elements. Um, the four main elements like fire, water, earth, and thunder, they all give 50% to two elements, whereas the dark and light give 30% to three elements. So uh, it's it's kind of a niche leader if you ever end up using them. Um, and overall, though, the units are not actually that great in terms of stats. Um, Paula's HP is 4,500. Uh, her attack is 1,400. 1,400 defense, 1,400 wreck. So she's very well-rounded. Um, yeah. Uh, considering all the other available 5 stars, especially the limited edition ones, uh, like Demo or Miku, which, which is out right now, um, uh, she kind of pales in comparison, not just in terms of stats though, but in terms of utility. Uh, her BB is just a regular AoE attack, uh, but the good thing is that it has, it's a mix of elements, it's earth and dark, and it also has a chance to inflict curse, so... Not bad, um, but I still think it's, in overall, I think it's a pretty average 5-star um, unit. Unfortunately, there is no 6-star in sight, uh, not even in Japan version, so it's debatable. Like, the dungeon is relatively hard, and although the drop rate, I think, is relative, it's, it's pretty high, because I got most of the sisters without having to grind uh, the level 4 too many times back when it first released, so... I, I can't really give you any solid numbers. I, if I had to guess, I'd guess like the 20-25% ballpark because just because they dropped so... I don't know, maybe I just got really lucky, but the sisters dropped pretty easily for me. Um, now that are so so many uh, 6 stars released, um, it's much easier to tackle these dungeons if you have the correct units or even a good team. If you have a rainbow team, you can probably just blast through these as long as you have elemental changers. Um, like, you know, Michelle or Melchio or SGX, etc. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're struggling to beat this, I would honestly say, don't worry about it. You're not 
really missing. Like maybe try and clear it once for the uh, for the free gem that you get for clearing it. But besides that, if you're having a lot of trouble with this, don't bother. Um, spend your energy elsewhere because it is 40 energy and that's quite a bit. Oh, shit, I'm auto battling into the boss. This happens every time. I'm not looking down enough. I need to put my iPad like next to my monitor <laughs> and prop it up because I always forget. So. Uh, I didn't really see who you'd be, but I can, I can guess. I'm assuming my Darwin Shill, my Luther, and Carl use BB, I think? Okay, well, uh, Paula inflicts curse. Well, that, that's kind of that's kind of lame. So before that happens, let's use Lava's SBB. Ignore defense. Yay. And this should go by much faster now. Um, as with the previous sisters, I think Paula also has a buff after 50%, uh, below 50% HP. Let's see if that's true. Yep. Okay, so she gives herself dark type, just like her leader skill and BB. And yeah, attack buff. Okay, yeah, there you go. So, okay, so all the sisters have the same trait then, I'm pretty sure, where once they drop below 50% HP, they buff themselves with their extra, their associated element, uh, second element, sorry, and um, an attack buff. So, yeah. I mean, if you don't, if you bring if you bring something like an, a Thunder team to this, you, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. Uh, uh, why would you be doing that? But if Thunder's all you have, then you might want to consider just attempting this with the expectation of failing, because it is pretty rough if you don't have um, a strong team for this. Because like, look at this, I'm running a fire team, which like means I'm taking half damage, and um, she's a crit buff too, and she almost killed my Aisha right there. So you kind of know that I'm lazy. Let's just use the light. You kind of know that she's actually pretty tough. Um, so, yeah. There's no real need to really try and collect this unit. Unless, of course, you are just collecting. So, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I mean, if, if anything, out of all the sisters, I once again, I do believe she is one of the, pr one of the prettier units that I've seen. So, yeah. I mean, if you look at her animation, it's pretty, just quite a bit of detail. All those flowers. Yeah. Nothing much to say. Yeah, there you go. Killed her in about four turns, I want to say. I wasn't really paying attention, so... Yeah. Nothing, nothing notable about her. She has, like, average hits for... She has eight and nine hits for normal and BB. Takes 30 crystals to fill her BB. It's... Yeah, it's pretty meh. So, there you have it. Um... This is the Gaia's voice level 4, or in other words, Paula, Earth Simple Sisters dungeon. Oh, she dropped, hey, yay. Actually, let's quickly check what, uh, what type she is. Although I should really rush this video. I've got other stuff to do at the moment. I, I need to release my Miku video. <laughs> I will probably release my Miku video before this, in any case, because I want to actually have a, Oh, I'm sorting by level. God damn, I'm not even paying attention right now. I just woke up. Uh, Paula, Anima, sweet. I already have her though, but I already have one of all the sisters, so it doesn't matter. But like I said, like look, look at her unit. You can see all those embroideries and all those flowers. Yeah, it's quite a bit of detail. Um, although the lackluster flower, but it's a flower, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I'm not sure how much you guys really learned from it, besides the fact that she. Uh, curses. So if you care about that, or if you brought a healer, you might want to bring holy potions. Sorry, holy waters. There you go. Holy potions. What the hell am I talking about? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and speed up most of my videos. This one's the fastest one so far, unfortunately, which means I'm still very slow with these uh, vortex videos. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys like longer videos or do you guys prefer them to be shorter? Because I do end up talking quite a bit, usually off topic. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this one, so I will be making uh, the other videos for the rest of the sisters. I think there's four more sisters to go. Uh, Zell, Thunder, the Zell, uh, Zelly or Zell for Thunder, Sola for Light, Madia for uh, the Dark. Oh, there's only three more, sorry, I derped. Uh, yeah, see you guys.